Eye Holder. Hey Manish, it's great to be here today and talk about how the application landscape is really changing. Traditional enterprise applications have to make room for microservices and the situation is getting even tougher for enterprises because they have an increased need for application performance, development flexibility, developers have to move things faster, call developer flexibility, and there's a reduced cost of infrastructure. That's right. Uh, you know, be it traditional monolithic applications, modern microservices, doesn't matter. Balancing the application performance with operating efficiencies is the constant challenge that organizations face. You know, and this is especially obvious for cloud workloads now, where the customers pay for the CPU and the memory usage. Thus, to operate efficiently, applications must run fast, and they must run at the performance levels to meet the SLA requirements while consuming less resources. Yeah, in the context of enterprise application, really Java is the language of choice. Over 12 million developers worldwide, over 50 billion JVMs, that's more than six JVMs for every person here on planet Earth. What is GraalVM doing to create a buzz in the Java ecosystem right now? Yeah, we've been very excited to see the response to GraalVM. Uh, GraalVM is an optimizing compiler delivering significant application performance and efficiency improvements. The Graal project started out more than a decade ago as a research project inside of Oracle Labs, attempting to answer a simple question. Can a Java compiler be written in Java even faster and easier to maintain? And over the years, this project and the research expanded to include the ability to perform not just in-time compilation, but also ahead-of-time compilation. We call this AOT capability native image. And as the scope expanded and success increased for the GraalVM project, it included ability to run other non-Java bytecode based languages like Python, Ruby, WebAssembly, and others on the JVM with high performance. This led to the development of GraalVM language implementation framework. Yeah, that's super interesting. We had the privilege to write a case study about how Twitter is using GraalVM and without changing any of their code as they saw a teenage number of performance improvements. That's super impressive. I've never heard this before in my 30 plus years in enterprise software. Goldman has some very interesting parts too. But the question for enterprises, there's a GraalVM community edition and an enterprise edition. What makes the enterprise edition so unique? Yeah, it's uh, great to see these large enterprises deploying GraalVM at scale and seeing the value and the benefit in their production uh, cycles. Uh, we wanted to make sure that in addition to the GraalVM Community Edition, enterprises were able to take this technology, deploy at scale so that it can meet all of the enterprise scale requirements. And these are running mission critical applications, whether it's at the front end or the back end. GraalVM Enterprise is built on proven Oracle Java SE and provides significant performance and security benefits over the Community Edition. With its compiler optimization and patented algorithms, we have seen acceleration of application performance for some workloads by as much as 55% without any code changes. The native image utility compiles Java applications into native binary executable that provides near instantaneous startup, has very small memory footprint, and delivers peak performance with no warm-up time. And finally, the customers of GraalVM Enterprise benefit from the 24 by 7 support from engineers at Oracle where this platform was born. Well, that are super impressive performance gains. So definitely something very interesting for the enterprise. The question is though, so how is the interoperability with existing libraries and existing code assets? Is GraalVM a good uh, fit for the existing Java ecosystem? GraalVM Enterprise fits really neatly into the sweet spot of modern application development ecosystem. It provides an ideal platform for containerized workloads like microservices, and is supported by numerous frameworks like Spring Boot, Heladon, Micronaut, and others. It greatly enhances application performance on other platforms too, like Apache Spark and Apache Kafka. And while there are many sophisticated performance tuning options and techniques available for platforms like Apache Spark, one of the easiest way to achieve that performance improvement is to run it on GraalVM Enterprise. And internally at Oracle, we've also certified WebLogic Server on GraalVM Enterprise so that the Java Enterprise Edition users can take advantage of the performance benefits of GraalVM Enterprise. Running WebLogic Server on GraalVM Enterprise is as simple as changing its Java home. No change to application code or configuration are necessary. 
Well, it's great to see that it works and it runs with all these existing servers and other uh, products together with that. So it's clear it helps an enterprise to achieve what they need to do, enterprise acceleration to move faster, be able to build applications smarter and in a more leaner way, basically uh, bring, like in the cloud on premises, right? So that's what Graal VM does for you. Precisely, Holger. Crawl VM Enterprise is the optimizing compiler and runtime for traditional applications, as well as modern polyglot microservices, delivering high performance with reduced memory footprint, as well as CPU utilization.